the always trendy and always popular Holiday Plaza in the center of town. Because today I'm going to learn how to cook some Cantonese food. So Holiday Plaza is, you know, well known here in the city. It's kind of known as like a, a lot of specialty shops, a lot of very interesting restaurants. It's a great place to come and walk around and uh, get some really good food too. So this restaurant is not only a restaurant, it's also a museum. Behind me, you can see these are uh, ancient carvings from the Ming and Qing dynasty. And then over here, they've got a special carving here. This one here, this is from the Yuan dynasty. And then the pole, it says Song dynasty and Qing dynasty. So there's an awful lot of history here. One of the things Cantonese people love is the tea scene. Just, they take it to another level here. Believe it or not, this is a small dining room. And this is a very special treat. I'm actually going to get some time with the head chef here, the Cantonese master, one of the many here in Zhongshan, and he's gonna teach me some Cantonese cooking. So here at this restaurant, there's over 30 different cooks, 20 of which just for dim sum. And they have over 100 different Chinese dishes. And I'm gonna get access into the kitchen with the head chef to go look around. So, hello, this is the chef. I call Wang Zhenwei. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we call him Wei Ge, or brother, but he's the Lao Ban. He's the big boss of the whole place, and he's gonna show us how to cook some things today. So we're making Guangdong uh, it today. Boy, walking through a kitchen, a Chinese kitchen, is like walking through war. Here, everything is dragon, like long dragon. I mean, even the chandeliers have kind of a theme. So one of the most famous dishes and most important dishes in Cantonese food is roasted goose. I'm here with Chef Lee. Chef Lee's going to show us how to do this. He's going to break this out. So the wood here is used, that they use for it is from the lychee tree. It has to come from the lychee tree because it gives a certain flavor to the goose. It's so good. I'm getting really hungry just looking at that. Well done, Chef Lee. Well done. Yeah. All right. Good job, buddy. You can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. It's hot in there, man. They are working up a storm. Tons of people. And when you come in here, it's really cool. I'm here with uh, Chef Wega. He's going to introduce us to these uh, dishes that he's prepared. This is the deep fried pigeon. This is the roasted duck. This is a chrysanthemum baozi. This right here, this is a squid ink baozi. With shrimp. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be out of the kitchen, man. If you've been in a kitchen, you know it can be war in there. People love it. They love the job. But I'm happy to be in the dining room and getting ready to feast on this amazing looking meal. So of course in uh, Guangdong, they say, which translates to drink morning tea, but what it really means is eat dim sum. And uh, but we are drinking tea too, and it's really good. <laughs> One of my favorite things is Shenzhen Bao. I'm always looking for it at every restaurant I go to. <laughs> the chef was nice enough to bring me some. And I've had this many times before. This is deep fried uh, pigeon. It tastes like chicken. It's uh, it's a little hard to eat because there's not a lot of uh, meat on it. But it is really tasty. Now this is something very special. This is a sticky rice with a cheese topping. It's something you don't see very often in uh, Cantonese cuisine. And it's really tasty. I'm American. Americans, we love cheese. That's why we're fat. Americans are fat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that. Jung. This is like a, a red rice chung uh, fun. It's crispy inside. You dip it in the sauce. This is amazing. Mm. Mm. Spring onion and oil baozi. No, it's not really a baozi. It's like a more like a pancake, I guess. No, it's definitely a baozi. The spring onion inside. Mm. 
I know, I know, I have a very, very hard job. Xiao Mai. Oh, yeah, I've had this before. I love this stuff. This is really good stuff. Mm. Mm. This tea is a uh, lychee muta, which is made from lychee wood, the same wood that they use in the oven to roast the goose with. And it's probably one of the best teas I've ever had. They've cut up the pancake. Chef Wei tells me that um, there's over 1,000 different types of, of uh, dim sum uh, known. So if you eat dim sum three times a day, it would take you five years. <laughs> it could be worse. Well, growing up, I love eating Chinese food. We had Chinese food all the time. My father would cook it. They wanted to take me to Chinese food back home. I went home to see the family. Hey, let's go Chinese food. I'm like, I've been eating the best Chinese food in the world for the last two years. I don't want to give me hamburgers. And as soon as they're able to come, my brothers, my sisters, they all want to come visit me. And yes, I want to take them to eat. And places like this is like the perfect place to go. Fashionable. Of course, apparently this cooking method is from Spain. And whoa, no. Oh, <laughs> oh how embarrassing. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to try and eat it. Oh, I'm going to get out. That's really good. Kind of tastes like raspberry. Oh man, I feel fat and happy. This restaurant was delicious. And uh, I got a little surprise for you. If you liked this video, stay tuned to my channel because there's a lot more coming. We'll see you in the next one, guys.